Hello. Somebody has asked me if I would show how I store and organize my ephemera and embellishments. This is it, a shoebox. <laughs> That's how I store them. Um, I can show you what I have in here. I do like to put them in bags and try to separate them because that way I can see them easier. This has three different tags in there. They're kind of on top of each other. Um, this is how I was, what I was doing before, just throwing them in little in bags. But uh, so I need to pull these ones out and do what I've been doing in the back or the, the behind ones. Um, these are just flowers, wooden flowers that have been painted, and then I put them on strips of um, dots. So when there's a whole bag in here, <laughs> I mean there's a whole bunch in here. So that way when I'm making cards, if I want to do that, and I've got the, these little bees and um, ladybugs that I like to glue on top of them. Either that or just add a little bow on top to match, but I don't put the bows on now because I want them to match whatever card I'm making. These are clouds that I've actually, I've got a die cut to do these, and it's out of that foamy <laughs> shipping stuff. And I like to keep these cut and just thrown in a little zippy bag or a little baggie like that. So that way I can put them on cards. These are my color blocks that I like to make. And so those I can just throw on cards. These are two different types of borders that I've made. I've done a video on both of these. These are the postage stamp punched borders where I just glue them on, the, on a strip of paper. And then you just line these on either side of a card. And these are just scrappy scraps. I had these long skinny pieces of paper and I just took a glue stick and just went down and then just literally tore pieces of paper and glued them on. And I use those on, on cards also. I use a lot of, pretty much all scraps, <laughs> I try to. These are two little flags that I have left that, I've, that I created. I saw this idea on Pinterest years ago. So every once in a while that I'll make these, they come out kind of cute. I've done a video on this, just punching out the little postage shapes and then turning them sideways and adding the little, the little gems to it. Um, these are my happy flowers. You've seen these on a video. These ones, again, are postage, but I did a small one on top of a large one and 3D'd them up with just simple stickers. How easy is that? These I've shown you before. These are just those, the label. It's a Stampin' Up! label punch, the long oval. And what you got? My kitty cat just jumped up on the desk. He wants some loves. And I make them into tags, so I just threw those in here. These I've shown before, just a circle on top of a circle. And my hearts, you've seen those before. And these, actually, when I'm making them, see, I cut the little hearts out and I throw them in the back, and then when I'm making them, I actually glue them down right on onto this paper. I'll pull the paper out, and then I'll glue the back paper, the back hearts down, and then the top part, I'll fold it in half to crease it, and then put the little 3D tape, foam tape behind it, and then glue it just down the middle where the crease is, and then add the little gems. So, and that's so much easier and neater, more organized, if you just... I use repositionable uh, tape runner and just kind of do a little dot. And then I just create them right on the sheet. That makes it so much easier for me. These are the word strips that I've made and I made a video on that. I've made a video on, on my owl, owl uh, actually these are from the uh, decorative paper. Pictures of little owls that I just punched out and then added them on to another bigger circle. And then this was just some glitter paper that I had, and so I just punched them out. So with circles, and I like to use those on cards so they don't get lost, I throw them in here. Bag full of, um, these are, they're plastic. They're a one inch plastic sticky back flat disc, like a cabochon, is that what it's called? Cabochon, I think it's called. Um, and I've done, just punch things out that are with my one inch circle punch and then I just throw this 3D 
plastic circle on top of them. So those are kind of fun. Some ta uh, tickets that I just decorated. I saw that idea on, on Pinterest years ago too. And more flowers. I'm pretty sure I did a video. As a matter of fact, I know I did a video on this. Um, these, the spool circles. I, I, when I get brown cardboard, then I like to punch a bunch of the spools and then I'm, I make them into little embellishments that I can use on cards. Some tags that I've made. And some of that party wrap. What the heck is it called? Crepe paper. Crepe paper embellishments. Rosettes. And then I did a video on this. My cat's been chewing my bags again. <laughs> All of them have a chunk out of it. And that's just with my little itty bitty stamps, or punches rather, and I just punched them out and put them on the little teeny postage. And you can see these are stuck on there already with, with repositional stick behind it. So I, when I punch out some more, I can just stick them right on there. So those are easy. My circles. The top, there's a circle cut in half and glued onto a full circle. And then just added the little pearlies. Those look pretty. And then flowers made out of circles. That's how I package those up. And I did this video on making these, my little fish tanks, putting those together. And I did a video on these, making the, the word clusters. And then I used my happy face. Oh, he ate that one too. <laughs> Darn cat. I used my happy flowers and made these tags, and that was another video that I've done. Some owl stickers, and I made a video on this putting those together and again just put it in a I'm just recycling bags that plastic bags that I get from other things so those are done and some some banner clusters so those are in there just some triangles punched out triangles that I just put together and put in here just helps to fill in space on cards that's what I'm trying to do with this stuff these are adorable. I made a whole bunch of these. I made tall skinny ones and short fat ones. Just little envelopes with the little words thinking of you coming out of them. So and that's how I organize those. And some more just clusters that I've stored like that. And some leaf clusters that I punched out all the leaves and then arranged them in sets of three and glued them together added a bow or a little teeny image and on the other side the rosettes and then more cluster embellishments I use my little owl embellishments and I use my leaf clusters on here and I use the, the circle flowers on those and then some more clusters that I've made little fortune cookie fortunes and my little succulent plants that I made those into little embellishments and some bigger squares some bigger postage squares that I put together and some of them are 3D'd up and I did a video on making these so and then just added the little pearls and that's it those are my embellishments besides the store-bought ones these are all the ones that I that I make and try to do separately and then these are the other bits and pieces that I I've just pulled out of this box so I could show you those um, I have stickers and more stickers rub-ons stickers and then some more they're 3d plastic foamy stickers and some shaker stickers Oops, candy stickers, those are shakers. And I save this acetate so I can do more. And I love to get these labels from the Dollar Tree because I'll use my words that I that I print out or stamp out, and then I'll just put them on these, and then I can just peel them and stick them on. So those all go in here. So that's it. That's how I store my embellishments for my cards. 
So I hope this is an answer to your question. And until we meet again, happy crafting.